Hey, it's Becky from Patchwork Posse. Did you know that there is a nifty little ruler that you can use for paper piecing? I am going to show you how to use add a quarter ruler for paper piecing. In the demonstration, I am using the blocks from the temperature quilt. So that link is in the description if you are interested in sewing along. So I'm working on the temperature quilt and it is paper pieced. And I thought I would show really quick how to use the add a quarter ruler. Um, this is a time saver and it really does help when you have a lot of paper piecing happening. So what we're going to do is um, in the pattern that I've got, I have all of my center pieces um, sewn down. These are all temperature guide. Um, so everyone represents a temperature for the day. And the next thing I am going to do is I need to trim off these this edge before I add the next piece because I don't want all of this fabric showing behind my background piece. So what I am going to do is take the paper and I am going to fold it back to the line of on the pattern. So this is going to give me a good crease line so I know right where the line is. Now I'm going to fold this the other way and I'm just going to fold it back on that same crease line. Because I can't see this line when I fold it back, it's just easier to fold it the one direction first and then flip it all over and fold it back. Now I can use my ruler. So I've got my paper out of the way because I don't want to cut my paper. And I've got my ruler ready to go. Now, as you can see, this ruler has an edge to it. And so right there is the edge. I am going to take this and I'm going to place it down on my fabric and then I'm going to push it until that edge bumps right up against my, um, my paper. So make sure it doesn't catch on the little hole where it hangs. And what I'm going to do is take my rotary cutter and I am going to, after I've got this tight right up against the paper edge, I am going to cut and then scoot my ruler up and then continue cutting. So this lets me trim off all of these extra little bits that would hide behind my fabric that I'm going to sew next. So now I've got a solid edge and this actually makes the next step super simple because I can line my background fabric or whatever is next in this. I can line my background fabric right up against that straight line. So then I can just take this to the machine and stitch right along that edge. To do the other side, I'm going to repeat this process. So let's just show you one more time. I've got, um, I'm going to fold this back until I see the line and give it a good crease. And then I'm going to flip it over and fold it right back on that same line. Now I can use that edge as my guide. I'm going to put my ruler down, push it right up against that paper. Using my rotary cutter, I'm going to start trimming off these ends. Now I've got both edges ready for the next step. Now as you can see, I didn't use it down here because this is the last corner for this block. So when I need to when I finish when I finish placing my fabrics on both these sides, then I will be squaring the block up. I hope you found that helpful. Again, 
This is the Add a Quarter Ruler um, by CM Designs is what I have. There is all the instructions at the back side if you need, but that's a quick look at how to use it. It's super simple and makes actually paper piecing very easy to do.